Hey everyone, if your car won't crank or turn over when you try to start it, there's a good chance the starter motor is having issues. But before tearing it out to test or replace it, you can actually diagnose many starter problems right in the vehicle using just a multimeter. In this video, I'll show you how step by step. The starter is made up of two components, the solenoid and the motor itself. The solenoid acts like a switch to allow power from the battery to flow to the starter motor when you turn the ignition key. By testing voltage at certain points, we can isolate whether the problem lies in the solenoid, motor, or wiring. Of course, anytime you work with the electrical system, disconnect the negative battery cable first for safety. Okay, with the multimeter set to voltmeter mode, our first test point is the smaller solenoid control terminal marked S touch the red probe here and touch the black probe to ground. Turn the ignition to start. We should see 12 plus volts, if not, there's likely an issue with the ignition switch signal, relay, or wiring to this terminal. If we do have voltage at the S terminal, next we check the large positive battery cable nut on the solenoid. The red probe goes here and black still to ground. This too should show battery voltage with the key in start. No voltage indicates a bad solenoid that needs replacement. Now we move the red probe to the threaded output terminal at the bottom of the solenoid where the main positive battery lead connects. While a helper cranks the engine, watch the voltmeter. The reading should drop to about 10 volts or less when engaging. Higher means bad contacts in the solenoid. If voltage does dip during cranking, the wiring and motor portion of the circuit is likely okay. That tells us the motor itself is likely bad. Brushes, windings, bearings, etc. It'll need bench testing or replacement. By methodically testing key points, we can isolate whether the no crank is due to a bad solenoid, wiring issue, or internal motor problem without having to remove it yet. Testing takes just a few minutes and can potentially save hours of unnecessary work. Depending on the issue, you may be able to just replace the solenoid, clean connections, or fix broken wiring. So don't just assume a no start means you need a whole new starter right away. Take a few voltage readings first. It could end up being an easy fix. Let me know if you have any other questions about testing starter circuits. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more auto repair videos coming up.